Hey guys, what's going on? This is RiderMike221, also known as Funny Comeback, and I'm bringing you another commentary gameplay. This is a, uh, a five lap race on the Stewart South MX track on the Suzuki RM125 against the all time AI difficulty. Um, uh, so, uh, this is one of the DLC bikes. It's a pretty cool bike. Um, I, uh,. Um, I watched the races today because I have a DVR so I could record them. And, uh, holy crap, you know, Chad Reed's crash, that was pretty, that was pretty brutal. But, I mean, you know, I was glad to see him, uh, get up and be alright. Like, I was like, holy shit, like, my heart skipped a beat when I saw him, like, fly off the bike and just free fall 20 feet from the air to the ground. It's pretty, it's pretty scary looking, but, um... I thought for sure his season was over, like, I was like, oh my god, like, I thought a season could be done, and then I saw him get up and get on the bike, I was like, oh my god, like, that is, like, some serious, like, toughness, like, mentally and physically, like, if that were me, first off, I'd be thinking in my head, like, I'm just too scared to get on the bike for now, like, for another 10 minutes or so, and then, I mean, also, I'd probably, like, I'd probably tear up or something like that, because I, I bet that hurt like a bitch when he fell and hit the ground. But, uh, but he got right up and, well, he didn't get right up, but, I mean, he got up like a minute or two, so, like a minute or so. And I believe he got up to thir 14th. I think he got up to 14th, so he salvaged seven points. Um, so he got a fifth overall, which, you know, the one in a 15... Or 14, I think, yeah. And, um, so, he salvaged some points, but now the, the, uh, points are, <coughs> the points are closed up again, like they were way before, you know, Freestone, where Dungey's bike broke. But, um, for a while I thought, <coughs> I thought it was gonna be Reed's, cause he's a guy who, you know, never falls, you know, I've been, I've always been a huge fan of him, and Dungey. But, I mean, you know, he never falls, so, you think, and plus his bike, I guess he has, you know, he makes sure his bike's, you know, top-notch and perfect, so, um, you know, you know his bike's probably not gonna break, so he thought, like, alright, well, he, he might have it, and then, you know, boom, this huge crash, I think what happened was, uh, me and my dad looked at it a few different times, and, uh, it looks like as he was... He got on the throttle real hard, he really just a little bit, and he was leaned over. Like he wasn't like his bike wasn't straight uh perpendicular with the ground. It was he was leaned over still when he took off and I guess when his front wheel hit that kicker, I think his front end knifed when his front end knifed, his hands came off the handlebars and the bike swapped out over the face and that was it. And uh but uh Trey Carr was back for this race, so it was uh pretty cool. Um I think he went uh, the first moto, he was in third, he got like third or second off the start, and, you know, he, uh, I think he, uh, kind of just dropped off the pace, because his fitness wasn't there, because he hadn't raced in a while, and he got fifth, and then he pulled out with a third in the second moto, which was pretty cool, and, uh, that was, a uh, that's pretty impressive, you know, he got third overall on the podium, first race back, um, <coughs> so, I'm happy with, uh, um, it's pretty cool to see him get the third, and, uh, I think Villapoto had a huge struggle on the first moto, he got, like, a mid-pack start, but, I think he's, I don't remember what he salvaged up to, but, um, I think the point standing goes Dungey in first, and it's Reed with six points back, and then Dungey, or er, Villapoto seven points back, I think that's the order it goes, um, and, uh, that was a pretty sick pass Dungey made on Villapoto, and, uh, don't, don't, you know, y you, you know Dungey didn't take him out. Villapoto just got on the throttle just too hard and didn't have enough room to break, and Dungey was, uh, Dungey was there. You know, he couldn't turn down the corner, so he just ended up hitting the wall, or the, uh, the dirt, and just tucked his front end, which kind of sucks. <coughs> but, uh, I think he, he just picked the bike up, started up, and got second, so... Dungey won the overall, and, you know, Villapoto got second, then Canard third. Um, but, uh, 
the series is, you know, it's getting really, really interesting. Well, it's always been interesting since the start. But, um, these pro circuit boys for the lights class, like, they're not getting broken anymore. It's just those three pro circuit guys, Baggett, uh, Rattray, and, uh, Wilson. They're all just up there. And, and Wilson has yet to get, wow, that was a fail. Right there, that, that trick in the whoops where you just hold the trick modifier through the whole thing. It's got its flaws. You see me try to pull off that trick when I didn't intend to. But anyhow, back to what I was talking about. Um, Dean Wilson is still yet to get an overall win. He's always going like 1-2. And then Rattray comes out 2-1. And get, he's gotten like so many overalls. And Dean Wilson still has got one. Still hasn't got one. But he's still, has the, he's still got the points lead. Red plate. So, um... So, uh, it's, uh, it's probably a little frustrating for him, but he's probably thinking, like, eh, the points is what matters, but I think Wilson and Ratcher haven't really gained or lost any points on each other since they're tying up a lot. And then Blake Baggett lost a few points, I think, because, I'm not, I don't remember, like, for some reason, my, uh, my DVR, it didn't record, though. We the first mode as I showed on fuel. I don't know why, but... Um, and then the second mode for lights. Like, it was around 6.30, me and my dad were going to flip it on. Because we were, you know, we were able to watch it. But it records anyway. And it turns out the uh, HD channel signal's out. So I'm like, oh. So, I don't know. I don't know what really entirely happened with the lights class. Um, so, uh... John Dowd, I mentioned in my last commentary, he was a, he's a retired pro, um, he was a friend of mine, my friend Tyler, he's a friend of his, so, and, uh, I'm, I don't remember his results, but I know he qualified 14th in practice, which, you know, 14th in practice is, you know, that's pretty fast, and, uh, just a little background information on him. He was, I, I, I was looking him up, I was like, you know, how is, you know, who is this guy? My friend talked about him a lot, and, uh, he's, uh, he's got records for, like, the oldest guy to win a championship on a 125, oldest to win 250 championship, oldest to podium, and I was like, really? And then it turns out the guy's my dad's age, and I'm like, holy crap, he's 43 years old. <laughs> and, uh, apparently, um, he, uh, didn't. Like, he didn't start riding until, I guess, he was, like, 19 or 20 because uh, he entered his first pro race when he was 20 and then turned to pro when he was 21. And I'm like, what? Like, oh, my God. Like, you think, like, one year he turns pro already. It's just unbelievable. Um, this commentary looks like it's coming to an end. Um... Looks like I'll be seeing you guys in my next commentary. Uh, this is uh, Ray, Rider Mike to 21 also knows funny comeback, and I am out. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and if you like this video, please click the like button. See you guys later.